Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we will talk about second semester assignments for the subject essentials of HRM. Uh, this is for April 2023 cycle. So first of all, make sure that uh, this is not for all the students. So those students who have not secured good marks or who have not cleared the essential of HRM in the previous uh, cycle, only those uh, this option will be uh, able and uh, even if you have not cleared your uh, exams and successfully cleared your assignments still you will get this option why because uh, uh, in this case you will have a second option to just submit your assignments again like previously you scored 18 marks in assignments and you think that okay you can get more marks in the main uh, in the second subject in second time will you upload then definitely you can upload it for the second time and there might be a possibility that you will score more uh, marks like 20 23 marks or maybe you can get 15 marks so in that case the best of for two like previously at 18 and this time you scored 20 22 then 22 will be considered or maybe if you score 15 this time then 18 will be considered as the maximum to 15 and 18 right so i would recommend it's always a win-win situation so try uploading uh, the assignments uh, again it would be great and uh, Essential of HRM is a quite easy subject. Uh, it's similar to other subjects where having three questions per second, third year, and third B. Uh, questions are directly from the book, and definitely a few stuff are a generic one. Uh, maybe uh, you can relate it while working with your company. You can have a better understanding. So you can specify those things in this part. So let's quickly see the questions one by one and see what stage to be written. The first question is the VPHR manager of Gyan Tutors Limited an online language teaching website decides to launch a new job analysis system for its employees across all branches. As a part of his team, you are in charge of handling the implementation of this new program. Discuss the scope of the job analysis in this organization. Give some examples in the job context, in the given context. So firstly, it's an online teaching program, uh, Gyan Tutors Limited. So there are two things. One is the online subject matter expert and the second thing is understanding of the online platform so like lms is one of the common platform learning management system you can just google out and get a lot many information about this so uh, if you talk about the job analysis uh, these things are important and uh, you can just relate it uh, uh, in the book as well where the uh, thing these things are given and try to just give a genetic information and after that you can specify with respect to the online teaching platform so refer to the page number 52 and 54 so quickly going to the 52 page here it's mentioned what is the job analysis like the collection of the different duties responsibilities performed by the individual and uh, these are the few definitions you can just pick up any one of them uh, you can just specify that there's one fall under plagiarism you can specify the second thing is the scope of the job analysis where uh, you just need to specify about the hrp like hiring the right people the right time at the right place and uh, here you need to involve the subject matter experts and second thing is understanding of the online platform because uh, teaching online and uh, teaching in the classroom is both had a different things in terms of the uh, uh, in terms of uh, how the things will be conducted so the person should have an understanding of that approach the second thing is equipment and selection so realistic preview of the job like whatever the different things what are the uh, different opportunities in this process so you need to specify these things third one is the training and development if you are starting any program going joining any company it's important you have an understanding what's the current approach going on uh, like if an online training program online training system is going on then what's the uh, tool which they are using how the things are going on so training and development is again an important criteria last but not the least about the composition and benefits so suppose if you are hiring a full-time employer the salary would be different a free part-time has a different and the freelancing is quite a different approach so uh, the composition benefits will be different uh, altogether for all these three types criteria so you can just specify these uh, uh, things uh, when relating it with your online uh, tutor platform right so first question you can specify these things uh, moving on to the second question second question is about the healthcare hospitals where they are expanding their business from 200 to 500 beds it needs to get a certain information for a certain job analysis as the hr consultant explain in detail what information under different categories is required for the job analysis add some examples and uh, with respect to the different kinds of information things seems to be quite similar in the previous one job analysis here earlier it was a training program 
now here it's a hospital sector so you need to relate the things in a different manner 52 54 pages remains the same where you just need to give a brief about the job analysis and in page number 54 you can specify about the process of the job analysis no need to go in detail you can just specify the purpose the communicating uh, communicating the objectives conducting job analysis developing jd and job specification and finally maintaining and updating jd and job specification no need to go in detail because we are having a lot many stuff which needs to be covered in this question on page number 56 that this is the key part which you need to cover in detail the information collection for the job analysis here it's categorized in three things one is the job content second is job context and the third one is the job requirement so job context is uh, about the different activities uh, duties being conducted being in a hospital it's important that uh, uh, we are having uh, nurses doctors uh, training staff uh, uh, along with this we are having some finance team we are having hr team and uh, and uh, like the cleaning staff and, and and number of administrative staff people so if we talk about the duties the more or less the duty is taking care of the patient uh, uh, resolving uh, the uh, you can say the curing the disease of the patients uh, taking care they will get the right treatment at the right time uh, you should be available on SOS spaces uh, uh, provide the best services to the uh, patient machines tools uh, e uh, x ray mi uh, sorry ecg mri uh, induction pumps uh, insulating pumps uh, uh, syringes uh, and there are a number of injections uh, drips uh, these are the basic equipments so you should have an understanding uh, you need to perform some additional task uh, maybe sometimes uh, you need to take the stretcher uh, an icu and something uh, uh, some it depends uh, like the situation the uh, uh, the uh, criticality of that particular event or uh, accident or happening uh, the next is the job context so job context is like what will be working condition definitely are working in such a condition where you need to take care uh, you need to deal with a number of patients with a different diseases some are even uh, uh, those uh, who are uh, easily commute from one person to another so that's again one of the risk factor then physical and mental potential uh, it's quite difficult uh, uh, to tackle the different kind of patients and uh, their families sometimes uh, uh, people say that uh, we are not comfortable in the blood and uh, people are just uh, uh, completely uh, means blood is coming out uh, from here and there and it's really very pathetic situation so uh, if a person came from an accident and uh, you need to take care then you should be mentally prepared for this reporting authority we are having a hierarchy from uh, uh, class four then we are having nurses then we are having some senior staff then we are having TLs, then we are having uh, the doctors then uh, mds then we are having the deans so, so what's the reporting authority and finally judgment based you are taking on timely basis last but not the least is the job requirement so what's the job requirement what's right fit uh, based on the certain degrees or certificates or diploma courses so uh, educational qualification is one of the important parameter like mbbs md ms so or you can say the uh, b pharma m pharma so these are the certain qualifications you can just google out and find a number of other uh, qualifications communication uh, definitely the person should be comfortable in commuting in a local language like a person from uh, coming from kerala uh, he is more comfortable in tamil and telugu from mumbai marathi so uh, from different people uh, uh, if you are working in a hospital in mumbai or uh, or in rajasthan you should be aware of the rajasthan in gujarat you should be aware of the gujarati language because it's easy for you to com commute with your patients right so these are the three things uh, which you need to cater uh, in the second question uh specify you one more thing you can just specify these methods that's not a mandate like interview questionnaire observation and patient's diary this is not mandate but if you are having uh, a lesser word then you need to increase the words count you can just mention these points as well moving to the third question third is having two parts a and b both are related one we are talking about internal factors second is about external factors so let's discuss in a single go Pradeep is a fresh in a marketing firm for a job and he wants to make a presentation on the recruitment policy. However, he was quite confused with the different type of factors affecting the recruitment method. He went to the HR department for clarification. 
uh, he just helped me with the following. I just explained to him the different internal factors affecting the recruitment of a company. And the next one is he was quite curious about the external factors. Explain with examples. So in part A, we specify about the internal factors. In part B, we talk about the external factors. Going to the page number 83. So firstly, uh, maybe in the first part, you can just give a brief about this equipment. In second part, you can just give the definition from these people or you can just go vice versa. Both are the same thing. Just make sure both have a little bit different information. After that, you need to specify about the factors, the two factors, internal and external factors. If you talk about the internal factors, then it's a recruitment policy. We need to explain with the example, like taking the example of the big shots like thesis and forces. Uh, so like uh, uh, recruitment policy is different, like uh, in thesis and forces, they just uh, go to some colleges and uh, do a bulk hiring or maybe you are having some uh, some walk-in drives. So every company is having a different equipment policy. Second thing is the size of the business. Size depends uh, highly. Like it's a big firm, you are having the potential of hiring so many of candidates. A uh, small firm definitely had a less number of uh, uh, employees and uh, are growing or the uh, expanding firms. Uh, definitely, they are in the process of hiring more and more people. So size depends. Uh, size is again the important internal factor. Then next is equipment cost. Cost is one of the important factor uh, wherein you need to see that you will get the right candidate, the minimum cost. If you if you need to hire 2000 people, then it's good that you go to some college and hire them in bulk at a fresher level. Uh, but uh, sometimes it happens that you go and you you interview 1000 people, you won't get one person. Maybe you get in 10 people, you get easily one or two people. So equipment cost is another important factor. Uh, lastly is the human resource planning where uh, the timely trainings being conducted to identify the gaps in the existing workforce. Uh, for new employees, they are having the training program for two to three months and for existing, they are having some some companies having like PIP, that's performance improvement program, which they conduct to just uh, I fill in the gaps and uh, uh, people just given opportunity for the uh, for his employees to uh, to be more uh, uh, to improvise their performance and give the best outcomes so these are the internal factors that we cover in the third a part in third b we are talking about external factors who are the external factors one is the labor or the market uh, current market conditions like uh, currently the recession is going on so uh, many big companies fire very good people and uh, you are having the good market base you can easily hire the good people and even at the lower wages and they are, have quickly been uh, hired for your company so there's no notice period of maybe 60 or 90 days as per their company policies they are freely available so this is one of the important external factor the second thing is the image of the goodwill a company goodwill is very important factor uh, to hire the people uh, like if you talk about the brands, thesis and forces, everyone is willing to go and work for these big MNCs. If you talk about a, maybe a startup company, ABC Private Limited, so person will firstly explore about the company. They will see its uh, results. They will see its potential. They will see its uh, current employees. They will talk about the work, work culture and a number of factors. So it also one of the important factor in the recruitment process. So these are the two external factors. So this is all which we have covered in the all the three questions uh, of um, essential of HRM as uh, essential of HRM. And if you have any doubts or facing any issue, feel free to just connect to me at njc.mba.gmail.com. And if you like this video, do like, do subscribe and stay connected for further videos. Thank you so much.